हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज दुमका वेलकम्स यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन पाइथन फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स सो फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल बी वर्किंग ऑन हाउ टू राइट कोड्स सो द फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट इज हाउ टू प्रिंट समथिंग यूजिंग प्रिंट कमांड सो एज द कन्वेंशन इज यू ऑलवेज प्रिंट हेलो वर्ल्ड आई डोंट नो वाई इट इज बट इट इज देयर सो the print statement work like this print let us say hello world so two things has to be remembered first you have to use the keyword print that is the function and this parenthesis in this parenthesis you have to pass an argument here i have passed a string so if you press shift enter then you will be greeted with this hello world so that's simple enough okay so let us say i want to print another thing uh, print my name is pankaj now instead of using single quote let me use double quote like this will the result be different that is will it be uh, showing us my name is pankaj or not so let us check yeah it is showing so that simply means whenever you are writing anything or any string so it doesn't matter whether you are using single quote or double quote but double quotes have their specific meaning for example let me print this print a uh, car no cycle car not let us say car no cycle so here if i'm using let us say i have i, have, I haven't uh, used this double quote i have used a single quote uh, and now i am using this okay then what will happen it will throw an error why because for this carno is correct this carno is correct but what about s so this will feel that there is something missing so to remove this discrepancy what we do we instead of using this single quote we will be using double quote like this now that's okay so i hope now you have understood that how to print how to use print command in python there are there is a lot more to tell about this but gradually and gradually we will be dealing with that now python as a calculator you can use python as a calculator simple calculator addition subtraction multiplication division and so on so let us take one addition problem 10 plus 5 the result is 15 simple when it comes to subtraction 20 minus let us say 2 the result is 18 okay when it comes to multiplication so it is 10 minus 2 sorry 10 multiplied by 2 10 times 2 so that is 20 and likewise you can do division also that is let us say 5 by 2 okay now there is something very special about division in previous version of python what it was this is an integer i will be telling you about the data types in the coming lectures so this is an integer this is again an integer so the result in normal normal sense previously it was integer only so you might uh, you might have got this result but this is 3 python 3.9 so you will be getting the full package but there may be problems where uh, you require the integer part of this what do i mean by this so let me make it mark down and in this uh, let me write a equation that is 5 uh, by 2 is equal to uh 2 whole 1 by 2 so if you divide 5 by 2 then the result is 2 whole 1 by 2 that is 2 1 now if in some problem you only want the uh, this integer part not the fraction part so what has to be done this particular thing is called as floor division so floor division has to be performed so how to do that so 5 double black slash so 5 double black backslash 2 will result in the in the, the the part which is before decimal so that is 
and there may be possibility that you might encounter some of the problem where you want to check with the remainder that whether the remainder is satisfying a certain criteria or not so for that matter what you write is 5 modulo operator 2 or 5 percentage 2 that is the same so this will return what this will return the remainder so look here 5 by 2 to so 2 twos are 4 so the that will be 5 minus 4 that is 1 so 1 is the remainder so this modulo operator will always return the remainder now you can see the one has appeared now one more thing to understand here is exponentiation what does exponentiation mean so what i mean by exponentiation is this a to the power b so if you have to make certain thing power of something so how that is done how exponentiation is done is done with the help of two stars so let us say i want 2 to the power 2 so you all know 2 to the power 2 is 4 likewise let us say i want to do 2 3 let us say to the power 3 and that is 27 so in this way you perform exponentiation not only this if you want fractional exponentiation that is square root of 25 so how can i write it is 25 to the power 1 by 2 that is 5 so in this way you can use your python cells as calculator that is addition addition subtraction multiplication division this is flow division then this is modulo operator which will be returning you the uh, remainder this is exponentiation and so on but there are other mathematic mathematical uh, operations like sine cos ten so where are these if you try to write sine of uh, let us say uh, zero so if you press shift enter that is run this cell the compiler will say or this particular uh, will return you this error that is the name sine is not defined yeah the, the mathematical functions like sine, the trigonometric functions like sine, cos, ten, cot, or sine inverse, cos inverse, or square root, cube root, and so on, lot many, they are not defined as such. They have to be called from a library known as matplot, uh, known as this math. So, in the next lecture, I will be uh, exploring with you that uh, what is math library and uh, how to work with it. So. Uh, in this lecture till this point only if you liked it then please do like sh uh, share and subscribe and at the same time take very good care of yourself take care bye bye